A dollop a daisy. You doing something, boo. She's so cool. So good. You will love these flautas. You'll thank me for this later. Hey, what's up? Thank you so much for clicking on this video. If you don't know who I am, you've never seen my face before. My name is Ebeth, and I make YouTube videos that are lifestyle videos. They're all about being creative and being a Christian. Because that's what I do, that's who I be, that's what I are. Hey. Today's video is super duper exciting because it's a collaboration video with my good friend, Lynette. Now, if you don't know who Lynette is, let me tell you, girl. She posts the most real, keeping it 100 content ever, okay? Not only that, but she's super inspirational, very encouraging, and she's really funny too. Like, you know you funny, Lynette. You know you funny. So Lynette and I actually go like way back, like back in the day, okay? Hey. We grew up in the same church together, and her and her twin sister ended up moving in with me and my mom when they moved to Texas, so we were all roommates. Her husband, Matt, actually attended Bible school with me and my husband, who we weren't married yet, but anyways, we all went to Bible school together. It's just been so beautiful to watch Lynette like fulfill her purpose and just like blossom into this awesome empowering like boss woman like Lynette you doing something boo you doing it she's so cool Lynette and I are collaborating together today and making a $10 dinner challenge after y'all watch this video and you get super duper hungry and ready to cook some delicious food make sure you click the link in the description box below and watch Lynette's video and get inspired to just cook every day yes we are going to make some delicious and simple chicken flautas here's the ingredients that i'm including in my flautas sour cream mexican blended shredded cheese any type of beans will do normally when i make these i like to use whole black beans but i don't have a can of black beans right now so i'm just going to use these refried beans and it'll work you'll need one jalapeno depending on how spicy you want it, you can add more. We're gonna use some flour tortillas. You could use corn if you wanted, the small ones. You see, like it's as big as my hand, and I got baby hands. We're gonna use them. Some chicken tenderloins or some chicken breasts. And then you'll need whatever type of salsa that you want. And if we're being real here, I didn't include the salsa in the $10 dinner challenge price because I figured normally you always have salsa in the fridge. Is that just me? Comment down below, do you always have salsa in the fridge? We always have cheese and we always have salsa. Like those are like, we have got to have those at all times. And if you wanted to make it like a legit dinner, like a real meal, then you probably want some side of rice. You can either make some cauliflower rice if you're down for that, whatever floats yo boat homie. And then for dessert, I have a little surprise too. So the first thing that I did was I boiled the chicken. I took three or four, depending on how many flautas you wanna make, um, chicken tenderloins and I placed them in a pot of boiling water with some cayenne pepper, some cumin, and a crushed garlic clove. And I also turned my oven on to 350 to prep it for the flautas when they're ready. The chicken is done. I boiled it for about 20 minutes and putting those seasonings in the water is a game changer. It smells delicious and I highly recommend you guys start boiling chicken, especially if you're going to make any kind of like Mexican restaurant dish so since it's boiled it's gonna be really easy to shred because it's super moist so you just take two forks and you hack at it now that the chicken is all shredded we are going to chop up our jalapeno and prepare the inner goodies of the flautas that was a really weird way to put it we're gonna throw it all in a pan put it on the stove top and let it simmer together till it becomes this like thick creamy consistency I'm gonna add two to three dollops. A dollop a daisy. And then I'm going to add my cheese and my salsa. Um, about like same amount of salsa that I did sour cream. And cheese, however much cheese you want. There's no rules here. Live your life. Okay, now I'm gonna add the jalapeno and the garlic. Right. I'm gonna add the chicken. I'm just gonna add like one scoop of black beans to the mixture and then the rest of the beans will be like on the side. Like if you go to a Mexican restaurant, you have a side of beans and rice, you know? But now it's done, here's the concoction that we have. I know it's not super cute, but it's gonna be real, real good, promise. So the next step is rolling your tortillas and preparing them for the oven. So 
you're gonna take one tortilla, you're gonna take a scoop of our cheese mixture and roll it up and put a little bit of butter or oil on the top of them and possibly on the bottom, your choice, up to you. I like putting it on the top, it helps it crisp up a little more. But I'm gonna put them in there for just about like 10 minutes. You're just really wanting them to crisp up because everything inside is cooked. For dessert, I'm gonna make a fruit dip that's super delicious and very, very simple. Got my fruit. The strawberries were on sale this week, so that worked out well for me. And we're going to mix our sour cream with some brown sugar, and y'all, if you have never tried this before, it's a game changer. And this was like our go-to dessert when I was growing up. She would just mix brown sugar with sour cream and give us some fruit, and we would dip it in it, and it was so good! This brown sugar, that was a lot, oh well. And uh, the brown sugar is not included in my $10 because I don't know, I just have brown sugar in my pantry. Like, that's pretty normal, right? You'll thank me for this later. These flautas are looking and smelling so good. They're crisp in the middle as well. They are good to go, they're done. Now I just have to plate them with the rice and the beans and probably some salsa and sour cream on the side, why not? And then that's dinner. But here's the thing about these flautas. I love the restaurant Chewy's. It's Tex-Mex out here in Texas. And I usually get like the flauta dinner plate when I go. And I think it costs like eight or nine dollars for the flauta dinner plate. And legit, it's like this. Like this is what you get pretty much when you get the flauta dinner plate. So I can make this at home for way cheaper. Normally I would eat this like just to pick it up with my fingers, but it's still piping hot. So I don't want to do that. Oh, smells so good. If you're a chimichanga lover, you will love these flautas. Thank you so much, Lynette, for collaborating with me on this video. I'm excited to watch your $10 dinner challenge and get inspired to cook some more delicious food in my kitchen, girl, yes! Make sure you guys go check out Lynette's video. It's linked in the description box below and show her some love. Subscribe to her channel. She posts some incredible content. And if y'all came here from Lynette's channel, hey, how you doing? Thank you so much for watching. And consider subscribing to my channel because I be posting all kind of stuff, all kind of different times. So let me surprise you along the way. It was really good. Until next time, stay awesome, be you, and keep loving Jesus. Boo. Bye.